Let's see if this works. Oh, that's so sick. Now we got stinky fingers too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. Oh man. We give the opponent that chop there. The ultimate chop. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Slayer's Den. Thank you guys again so, so much for joining me. Today we are playing a crazy Golgari combo deck that's built around a few new Innistrad cards, as well as some old Kaldheim cards. And I think this deck is going to be a total blast to play for you guys. So the main game plan of the deck is to play cards like Old Stick Fingers and our Sacrifice Outlets like Deadly Dispute and Plum the Forbidden to get as many creatures into our graveyard as possible, and then we want to bring them back with this card, Haunting Voyage, which for five colorless and two black once you foretell it, allows us to bring all creature cards of a specific creature type from our graveyard to the battlefield, and then we use this in tandem with Maskwood Nexus, which gives all of our creatures every creature type. So basically the combo is to bring all of our creatures back from the yard, and all of our creatures are going to have to have some awesome enter the battlefield abilities. So we'll start off with the first one being Malakir Blood Priest, which says when Malakir Blood Blood Priest enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of creatures in your party. So you can have up to four different creatures in your party. So with Maskwood Nexus, we'll have a full party basically, and this will drain for four for each Malakir Blood Priest that enters the battlefield. We've also got four copies of this card, Skemfar Shadow Sage, which does essentially what Malakir Blood Priest does, but instead it does each opponent loses X life, where X is the greatest number of creatures you control that have a creature type in common. So you can see where this is going. Skemfar just drains the heck out of our opponents for whatever Malakir Blood Priest doesn't do. So Haunting Voyage is just an amazing way to drain out our opponents for lethal. Now, we do have two copies of Haunting Voyage in here. I was debating on whether to put the third one in here. I think you could argue to maybe take out a Maskwood Nexus and put in a Haunting Voyage in here. But to supplement Haunting Voyage's ability, we also have two copies of the World Tree, which is a really cool card with a ability that says for two white, two blue, two black, back two red and two green, sack the world tree, search your library for any number of god cards and put them onto the battlefield and then shuffle your library. So it does something similar to Haunting Voyage. So if we don't have a ton of creatures in the yard, say we haven't played a ton of old stick fingers and we have a lot of our creatures still in our library, we can bring all of our creatures out if we have a mass wood nexus and it does essentially the same thing. So instead of pulling from the graveyard, we're pulling from our library. Either way, we're going to drain our opponents like crazy. But yeah, that's the gist of the deck and I'm super, super hyped to play Play this one for you guys so i hope you guys enjoy this one and if you do please remember to chop that like and subscribe button for me because it does help my channel out a ton and most of all it allows me to grow the slayers dead community which means the world to me guys so thank you guys again so so much and without further ado let's play some magic the gathering see you later all right, this is pretty solid opening hands. Got our Shambling Ghast into Prosperous. Pretty just typical deck, I suppose. Gun swing in. And sure. Cool thing about this deck is that it doesn't really matter if we... Um, Lose creatures. We want to lose creatures, in fact, as quickly as possible. Okay, uh, we're going to play this, and we're going to swing in. And we're going to end the turn. Okay. Swing in for a bit more. A Malakir Blood Priest to drain our opponents just a little bit more. And then right when they meet Hook, we can Plumb the Forbidden, which is so sick. Okay. And it's really thinking on what to do here. Okay, if we let this resolve, what happens here? Okay, we'll let it resolve, actually. Okay, my turn. Sure. Alright, let's meet Hook for three. Okay. 
It gives me my Prosperous Innkeeper back. And sure. End the churn. End the churn and end the germs. And end the squirm. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Whatever you say. And shambling gas, shambling gas. If the opponent keeps wild in like this, we might just drain him out with Meat Hook Massacre. Sack this for two. Let's create a treasure token. Treasure token. Okay. Okay, okay. My turn. Play this and let's do a stick fingers for four. And the turn. And the turn and end the germs. But it probably has a shit ton of removal. Which doesn't worry me. But let's see what we got rid of. A gelatinous cube. Okay, you son of a gun. You son of a gun. Alright, let's play World Tree. We can do this for four. We'll have a thick old stinky fingers. What's she doing with them thick old stinky fingers? Play this and sure. Skim for Shadow Sage. End the turn and end the germs. Now we've got the dispute and we're trying to keep it cute. Yeah, we got the dispute and now we're trying to keep it cute. Ah, uh, alright, so Meat Hook's looking pretty tasty here. Let's hope they play another creature. Okay, um. Mm. Okay. Sure. Let us meet hook for three. Gain some life. Okie dokie. Skedioki. And let's play a Maskwood Nexus. Now, if they have something like a Go Blank, then we are kind of screwed. But the opponent is down to six, so maybe we can just. I don't know. Do something kooky. Something kooky and crazy here, guys. We're going wild. Prosperous Innkeeper. Malakia Blood Priest. Okay. And we'll go next. And the turn. And then we get to play this for four, I believe? Yeah, we play this for four. I'll play it for four. <laughs> Infinite blockers, you say? Don't mind if I do.
Maybe the opponent can see the writing on the wall here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, <sighs> do this for four. Two, one, four. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> oh man. Let's go. That was uh, that was pretty sick. That felt super solid against this deck. You know, Masswood Nexus definitely gave Skemfar a little bit of a boost, as well as Malakir being able to just do four right off the bat. So yeah, GG opponents. And what does the opponent get to keep going first? Opponent says, hello, Delver of Secrets, you son of a gun. All right. Okay. This Delver is a menace. A total menace. Ugh, okay. Uh, we're gonna do... Uh, sure, we'll attack, actually. We attack because we couldn't block their Flying Delver anyway. But now that we've got uh, Meat Hook... Oh, okay. That's weird. And end the turn. End the turn and end the gems. Saloon divisions. Oh. Not my saloon -di. Okay, so they're playing like a mono blue tempo deck. Maybe this is a spirit deck of some sort. Okay, let's go and swing in. And let's go ahead and meet hook for two, I guess. Opponent oh, could bounce, but bouncing is fine with me because then they have to replay it, blocks them off for a turn. And that's one bounce spell they won't be using on one of my creatures, so I think it's okay. Delver of Secrets. Couple of lands in the yard. Okay. Cool. B -b -b beans baby. Let's play Prosperous Innkeeper. And I think I'm okay with playing a, another Prosperous Innkeeper. In a bit of life. And we'll also play a Malakir Blood Priest. In a bit of life and a bit of strife. And we'll go next. And we'll end the turn. See how we fare against a... Uh, a blue Delver deck, huh? Blue Delva. Blue Delva. That's odd. They didn't. They decided not to trigger the um, Delver of Secrets, I guess. <laughs> okay. Tempted by Orik. Well, that Oriks. I'll swing in with my Malakir Blood Priest here, I guess. Okie dokie. Skeddy okie. End the turn. Alright, Delver. We have a Divide by Zero. So they have four... They have eight bounce spells in the deck. They have four Fading Hopes, which one of them has been used already. On it, otherworldly gazes. This deck is interesting for its ability to control tempo. It's very much the definition of a tempo deck, you know? Like, 
<clears throat> it's got counter spells, bounce spells, all kinds of goodies. Okay. Let's do the damn thing. And some lives. Okay. Gonna use that to scry. <clears throat> I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and um stick we could stinky fingers already. It's five, six. We could do this for four. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll do it for four. We'll do no attacks. And the turn. And then the germs. I see a bounce spell going on here. One has six lands. That's pretty good. Fading hope. Okay, so we need to get another meat hook massacre, perhaps. Might be our best shot here. Let's go and play Prosperous Innkeeper. Prosperous Innkeeper. And sure, I'll play Stinky Fingers as well. I'll play this one for zero. And we'll end the turn. And we'll end the gems. Okay. Opponent gains control of old stinky fingers. <laughs> they didn't have any creatures in their yard, I'm assuming. Let's go and create this bad boy. Create a 2 2. We can kill our Demi Lich friend here. The Demi Lich. What's the Zidemi Sitch? Very interesting. Alright, so we have seven. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing in. And the turn. Six, seven, eight, nine. I actually need two more mana. Two more mana gives me World Tree mana. Which is pretty significant. That would help me pull out nine creatures. But I do have two Skemfars in here and a Malak here. So we have a we have a shot. Uh World Tree could World Tree could potentially win me this. So we're gonna have to see. We have to do some really I need I need two mana. Two mana would be so saucy. Would be so saucy. What kind of counter spells are they running, I wonder? Test. Test of Talents. So they'd be running Test of Talents, maybe saw it coming. They haven't foretold anything, so I don't necessarily think that that's the game plan. Bonus well, swings in for three. We're holding him off by creating some 2-2s, two gaining a life. We're just going to go next. We're going to do no attacks and the turn. Six, seven, eight, nine. So it's eight with the world tree. And I need two more mana. You gotta figure this out. Land, I could see land mascot being a thing. Which would be great because that means you're gonna tap out. Okay. Take three. What does the opponent do? Serpentine curve. Okay. A 16-16. That's actually dope. I I respect. Much respect. Get one of these, gain some life. Sack one of these bad boys. I'm actually gonna sack one of these bad boys. <clears throat> and I think I should have enough mana to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, I think I do. Also haunting voyage though. Oh man, there's so many cool things we could potentially do. Alright, so 
what would we bring back? We'd bring back one shadow mage and and several. All right, so we got to do this. We have to do this. Just just to flex on the opponent, right? <sighs> okay. Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh yeah, we got it. Oh, so sick. Oh, that's so sick. Now we get a stinky fingers too. <laughs> oh my god. Hilarious. <laughs> yes. Oh man. We give the opponent that chop there. The ultimate chop. That was so sick. Oh man. Look at this freaking battlefield. This would have done so much damage. This was two, four, six, seven, eight, nine points off of Skemfar. And then four, eight, twelve on this one. So that's twenty-one life like a life drain basically for them. So ugh. That was beautiful. GG. That's exactly why I love this deck. We have multiple angles of attack. We've got our world tree. We've got our haunting voyage. And uh yeah, GG opponents. The Great Ragu. Okay, we'll keep this one because we have turn two prosperous. We can deadly dispute. Giving us some additional mana. We might be able to ramp up really quickly into what we need. Ooh, but we are going against an aggro deck, so that is uh, pretty scary. Um, I think we just block here. Stops them from land falling too hard. We're just gonna go next. We're gonna end the turn, and we're also gonna end the germs. All right. Uh, I think I'm gonna plumb here, just to draw a card. Sweet. Mm, my turn. <clears throat> I'm gonna play Shambling Gas. I'm going to sack this. Get rid of that. Potentially. They might have something that can add a land at instant speed, like a roiling regrowth. Okay. And I'm also going to play a... Malakir Blood Priest? Let's see. How does this work? Uh... Yeah, we'll play Malakir Blood Priest here. Boom, hell how. Okay, Swizzle. Take the five. We're going to lay in lay the innkeeper. And I think we just go next. We'll do no attacks and the turn. This is gonna be tough, actually. Now that I think about it. A Shia. Gross. We definitely hate to see that. Okay. I think we're screwed. <laughs> Alright, so we'll definitely block here. And then we'll dispute. Then we'll pass. Hmm. I think this is probably too aggro for us. Um, okay, my turn. Could prosperous. Into this. Go next, no attacks, and the turn. 
Oh shit, okay. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Okay, so I think we're dead. Mm, we take nine. Okay, let's go ahead and to cancel. Let's go ahead and resolve that. Pass will go here. Go here. And that's nine. We got two blockers. Ah, okay. Of course, of course. You go first. No, you go. We're gonna keep this. We've got our combo pieces against Boros Thought Patroller. That's the coolest name I could think of. Back in 2014. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play this as a black source. And to swing in. And we're gonna play Malakir Blood Priest. One has got some snow mountains, which could mean some kind of uh, burn deck with frostbite. It could mean Rakdos. Could mean any number of things. We play this as a green source. We're just gonna swing in for three here. They play two red sources, so Rakdos may not be what. They're going for. Oh, it is Rakdos. Okay, Rakdos Snow. Gross. We hate to see it. And let's go and play a Skimfar Shadow Sage. Crippling Fear. Not my crippling fear, no. Alright, we're gonna swing it for two. Play a Maskwood Nexus. Start creating some two twos. Potentially. Hopefully all their removal is pretty slow. Oh, it's Jund. That's pretty damn interesting. Okay, opponent plays Unexpected Windfall. Let the opponent lose two life while I draw a couple of cards. Sounds good. Play this as a black source, and we'll also play Prosperous Innkeeper. And the turn. And now I can Haunting Voyage, but I need to get a lot more cards into the yard for that to work. Okay, so they get to do that. That's gross. You get to look at the top seven. Play an instant or sorcery. Create some devils. Okay. Hate it. Hate it already. I love it, though. We're playing against a jank deck, so can't be too mad at that, right? Um, I think we're going to plumb here. We're going to plumb. Okay, lands are plenty. Gross. <clears throat> play this, and we're going to play... Skemfall Shadow Sage. The opponent playing counter spells? Cathartic Pyre. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Which opponent loses life? I'm going next. And the turn. <clears throat> and I can potentially bring back one, two, three. Yeah, that should be enough to kill the opponent. Yeah, I think we've got the game against this really OP crazy deck. Uh, unless they pull out something absolutely insane off the top of their library, we should be good. Yes, okay. Love it. That's eight. Okay, we're gonna do no blocks. My turn. I think we won here. 
right? <clears throat> yeah. Citizens. All of my citizens. GG. <laughs> uh, we just gave the opponent the chop. More like Boros Chop Patroller, baby. <laughs> oh man, that was so sick. That was so sick. Look at their board. Their board was absolutely insane. They were 100% going to crush us next turn. Luckily for us, we had uh, pulled off our really sick combo. Uh, we were able to Skemfar for 5, Malakir for 4. That was, uh, that was more than enough to crush the opponent there. So GG opponent. I think we can keep this one. Play a swamp. We'll turn to the innkeeper. Oh goodness. Going against is it? Always shitay. Always shitay. And we always hate to see it. Okay. This can either be an epic game to end on or just another shitty is it match. Let's make it an epic one. We're going to play Shambling Ghast. Play it Shambling Fast. Swing in for one. We'll end the turn. Syndiclasm, eh? Let's <clears throat> go and draw a couple. Raid a treasure token. Okay, um, hmm, just play Maskwood Nexus here, end the turn. I think this would have been an okay turn to Sticky Fingers as well, but having four, five, six, seven mana is nice, because if we do draw the other parts of our combo pieces, we're in decent shape here. This could be, this could be a, like a good world tree. Um, game, because World Chi's ability can't be countered by the opponent, so we might just be looking for something like that. Um, my turn. Play this, and... Let's play this for three. Go next, and the turn, and the germs. Gets us out of most burn range. Uh, opponent can swing in with dragon, but... <clears throat> Alright, let's see. What can we do about that? Can we do anything at all? Five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and um, plumb here. Sack that. Another mass with Nexus. Ooh. Let's play Malakir Blood Priest. Malakir Blood Priest. And we go next. And we end the turn. Look at this son of a gun. So we got rid of a lot of burn spells, which is nice. Opponent could have all runs Epiphany, which is still pretty scary. Right, pass. Um, four, five, six, seven. We'll go my turn here. Play Skemfa Shadow Sage. Drain the opponent for a bit. A bit here and a bit there. We'll go next. End the turn. Okay. So, guessing a. Wait, what could be. Oh. Tasha. Damn. That's going to do a lot to us. That's going to be like our whole deck. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Well, there goes the game. I have nine cards left. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, create a 2-2. Two -two. Shall we? Okay. You son of a gun. No, not another Tasha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. 
to beat Tasha with the dual strike. That's still a, it's still a good um it's still a good deck against low casting costs things. My stuff really costs very little. Okay, this is a pretty good mono black hand, so we'll keep it. Got our uh, shambling ghast. Got another shambling ghast. Swing in. Vengeful stranger. How dare you, vengeful stranger? Okay, what is this? Can't block when Spencer Shader dies, return to the battlefield. Okay, sweet. Okay, what does this do? Transform under your control, attach to target creature or planeswalker. Okay, uh, sure. End the turn. I don't like that. Hopefully they have a sack spell, and then I can uh, deadly dispute whatever it targets. Hmm. Discards two cards. Okay. So we'll discard our creatures here. Um, brr, 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 my turn. That. Yeah, we'll do no attacks. Then we'll end the turn. You son of a gun. <laughs> it's such a really cool flavor card, though. I really like that. It turns into basically like a curse. It's pretty sweet. So we're going to block here. We're going to create a treasure token. Then we're actually going to sacrifice this to get rid of the Vengeful Strangler. Then we'll uh, get an extra treasure token. My lands! My stinky fingers. Okay. Uh, we're gonna play this for two. So would you need to draw our Nexus? We can get a really so we can get a really saucy play going on here with Nexus, because um, we do drain for so much, so so much. Heirloom mirror. Sick. Kinda just want to meet hook for two here. I think I'm okay with just passing the turn though. Because the opponent probably wants to pay life, discard a card, do a bunch of good stuff here. Oh sweet. It's getting better by the second. Better by the second is the name. Blood on the snow. Very saucy. First of all, very, very saucy. Wolf Spider Queen, you son of a gun. I will show you what happens when the we will slay our enemies. We will slay our enemies. Alright, we're gonna go next. We're gonna do no attacks. We're gonna end the turn. I wanna get the draw. I need to get more creatures in the yard, to be honest. Okay, so opponent gets a loyalty counter. I will call the weak. Sack one. Draw a couple of cards. I had a feeling I should have played that meat hook there. Just to keep it. But um There's Masswood Nexus, so we've We've got well now we don't quite have the same shot. But Haunting Voyage is still here, so <clears throat> should we just go for it? I think we kind of have to, because we can't take four from here plus that, so yep. Yeah. Alright, let's Haunting Voyage it up. Bay Bay. Alright, let's view the battlefield just to see what we've got. We've got humans, we've got zombies, vampires, elves. So we can bring back the clerics, and that's one, two, three clerics. I don't know that that's enough to do what we need to do. We've also got zombies and shambling gas. We've got four shambling gas and yeah. Then we've got halflings. We're gonna go clerics. The 
We've got four clerics. All the discard definitely was very painful. Okay, gross. Good minions are loyal and deadly. Demogorgon. So they have a lot of uh, discard here. Discard's actually really good against the meta. Okay. Block here. <clears throat> then I can swing on Wolf, potentially. And kill Lolf. Okie dokie. So you wish to be prey. Then we can um Malakir. Hmm. Yeah, this is a tough one. This is very tough. They have so much value on that side. Like, there's just... I can't even imagine the way to do this right. It looks like they didn't have a lot of removal. They had Blood Chiefs, Thirst, and Flunk, which they've used two Flunks. Oh, Eaten Alive also something. So, man, this is just a... It's a pretty good balanced deck, I feel like. Nope. My lose us some... Block here. Take two. Shambling Ghast. Okay. Place Gemfar here. One takes four. Now, what if we swing in? They block here and there. And take two no matter what, right? Is that how it would work? Block one, block two. This is four mana. Okay. We're swinging in. We're going to see if we can do this. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Yes, let's go. Give this opponent the chop. <laughs> oh, man. That looked a lot more intense than it probably did to you guys, but that was so close. We were down to five life. It was just that little incremental damage from these life drain creatures. And uh, yeah, that was super sick. That's so much value on the board. They could have done almost anything. I thought they were going to activate this and then, I guess, create Inherited Fiend, but. I think when it transforms, does it stay tapped? I'm not sure, but I know that's how that Mystic Skull creature does. Like when you tap it to transform it, it comes into play tapped when it's transformed. So, but either way, this was awesome. This was a total GG. That Haunting Voyage was so clutch um, when I did play it because it got us back. It got our life total back up a little bit. It drained our opponent down to where we could just kind of sneak these in. The opponent didn't have another discard spell. This definitely would have finished them the next turn anyway. So yeah, this is a perfect place to end today's video. I think it showcased mostly what the deck can do. So I'll get into the deck breakdown right now. All right, folks, this is like the perfect place to end today's video. And dang, as you can see, those last few matches were just so sick. We really utilized Haunting Voyage with all of our draining creatures so very well. This was a pretty epic deck for me because you guys know how much I love Jank. And I think Innistrad really brought what a deck like this needed in Meat Hook Massacre and Old Stick Fingers. So yeah, overall, I had a total blast playing this one. As far as if you guys should make this one, I'm not using too many Mythics and Rare cards that you may not already have, but if you haven't really tried the waters with cards like Meat Hook Massacre and Haunting Voyage, I'm not necessarily sure Haunting Voyage is a card worth crafting, but if you already have it and you have some of these other cards here, you could probably have a really good time with this one. I would say the biggest challenge we had was if we didn't draw our Meat Hook Massacres to clear the board so we could continue with our combo, or when we needed like single target removal to destroy like one gigantic creature or something like that. But overall, the deck performed probably about where I thought it was going. Going to. It's a lot of fun, like tier two jank. But we did take out some really powerful decks in the meta. So I had a blast with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to chop that like and subscribe button for me because it does help my channel out a ton and it also allows me to grow the Slayer's Den community. So thank you guys again so, so much for taking the time out of your day to check this one out. I really, really appreciate it as always. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to smash that like button below 
and to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers.